Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Edition Fashion Photo Review. Can you feel the love? Uh, UK Edition. Congratulations, the Vivian. Yay! I knew it all along. I knew from the beginning, bitch. That bitch serves it and owns it, and she is the me me. She is the queen. She the is. Vivian is the queen. She is the queen. For the final looks, mm -hmm. the queens had to do pre present their best look, a look they saved the entire time. They didn't dig into the the bag. They said, "This is, I'm saving it for this." Mm -hmm. But before the final three walk, mm -hmm. the returning seven come back to. Help with the coronation. Oh, well. So let's do a quick round of toot and boot with the seven queens in order of their elimination before we get to the top three. Let's do this. The first queen to the stage, Gothy Kendall. Why am I talking like this, Raven? Because you're so <laughs> excited, because it's the finale. Now, do you say finale or finale? I say finale. I say hurry the f up. Okay, <laughs> got the Ken doll. You know, it's sad that she had to go home so soon, because, bitch, she looked fierce. Well, she gets a toot. She gets a toot. Gothy Ken doll is looking diaphanous like a She looked like the ghost of Christmas um, past. Next up, Scaredy Cat. Next um, up, Scaredy Cat. Scaredy Cat, Scaredy Cat. Mm, it's cute. Two, I'll give it a two. Hmm, it's a toot. Yeah, she looks cute. She looks very, very cute. She's uh, she's obviously giving us a little bit of kawaii. Yeah. She's very cute. influenced by Japanese, like sort of goth Japanese. Okay, mm. next up, Vinegar Strokes. Okay, well, I see what Vinegar did here. I really do. I really appreciate it. It is very much on trend in the fashion world. Yards and yards and yards of tulle ruffled together to form one big confection of a loofah of a dress. I get the trend. I have a problem with this though. I feel like there's this mass of fabric everywhere and that works for me. Like I love the sleeves, the Victor and Rolf feel of the sleeves mm -hmm. and the and the and the skirt and stuff. But what about all this? What I wish this? that this were just a simple maybe this was all Tool as well. But the dress Unfinished. itself is really, really cool. Uh, her I'll hair looks, too. yeah, her hair looks amazing. Her makeup looks uh, looks great. Uh, you know, but overall, I think it's fine. I think it looks great. Next, we bring to the stage some Ting Wong. I actually kind of like this. Do you like it? I do. I just wish that the bra or the, looks like maybe it's a bustier, mm -hmm. were more of a pink, a shade of pink. Cause everything mm -hmm. is so pink and magenta and, and burgundy that the white is so kind of stark and very mm -hmm. like you look right at her mm -hmm. right titty. But all in all, gorgeous. Too. Yep, I think she looks beautiful. I think something Wong looks adorable. I would say she is a two. Next we have to the stage. Crystal. Crystal. Crystal looks adorable. Is this a um, Catherine Delish? Honey, it's either Catherine Delish or it's the one, the other company that's not Catherine Delish. But it's either um, Catherine Delish or the other one. Yeah, I feel like everything in this in this look is very much on trend of drag today of 2019. So in that respect, she got it all right. I just wish the boot were a different color. I like the color. I like. I oh, like I that. love the color, but I wish the boot were that color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is. It's a little. Of, it's kind of like. Uh, or, or maybe if the. I, I don't like the boot, but everything else is great. I'm gonna give it a toot. I just don't like the, the shape. I'm gonna give this look a toot also because I think Crystal looks cute. Next, we have blue hydrangea. Two. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And I love that her boot matches. Yeah. I'm not always saying everything needs to match, but when it's like a color that's just literally like off. Mm -hmm. You really kind of go, oh damn, I can I can see that boot. But this whole, I love this entire look. Me too. I like the, the satin, the lace. I love her makeup. Her makeup looks lovely. Um, she looks great. I mean, yeah. you know what, if this is gonna be, if you're gonna go for a finale look, you might as lo look as regal as possible. And show up, she probably had this and was like, this is what I'm gonna wear for the final walk. Mm -hmm. She didn't make it there, mm -hmm. but she still got to walk a final time. And sure. Said, look, bitch, here I am. Sure, I'm all about it. Blue Hydrangea looks amazing. Have we booted anyone yet? 
Bag of chips hasn't come up yet. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have Cheryl Hola. Two. Yes. I love it. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. His hair. I love mm -hmm. the ostrich feather boas that she has created a dress out of. Mm -hmm. And I love when you do a nude pump with something like that, where it's mm. just, oh, I'm not wearing a shoe. I mm -hmm. just naturally stand like this. Yes, I'm on my tiptoes. Yeah, I, I love it. My heel will never touch the ground. Or her hole. Juicy hole. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is a toot. Cheryl looks amazing. Oh. Oh, and then it opened. Oh, yeah. Cheryl, Cheryl's hole opened up and there was rhinestones inside of it. Yes. <laughs> As any queen's hole would be stoned. Her hole's always stoned. Okay. So we have the top three, ladies and gentlemen. The top three. Look who made it to the top three. Bag of chips. <laughs> you know here. what? I can bitch and moan and complain and eye roll as much as I want. I will not say she looks stunning, but I will say she looks great. I think this dress is a nice finale dress. Not grading on a curve, but grading for <laughs> bag of chips. She looks great. Obviously, this is a very elevated and like this is like bag of chips going for it, honey. She mm -hmm. went for a bag of lycra tonight. And uh, with stone, but like you said, yeah, like you said, I mean, it is kind of a departure for her, and she did put a little bit more effort into it. So, as a style, because this is a style based show, stylistically and aesthetically, I think this is a toot. Toot. Agreed. Toot. It ain't major though. Davina de Campo. And look at her in her Union Jack inspired costume. She wants to commem commemorate to the world and let them know that she is from the United Kingdom. I am British. And I am the new queen. That's not how she talks, is it? She's very like, oh, I can't do it. That, that, yeah, she doesn't talk like that. Okay. No. She looks like royalty. She looks like she is feeling her English oats. Mm. Divina de Campo. We ha has let us know I'm a redhead. Oh. Not just any redhead. Crayon red, fire engine red, candy apple red. I wear red hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is very, it's her. Mm -hmm. it's, she said, I'm gonna stay true to who I am. Signature. I am a UK queen with red hair. Mm -hmm. Here I am. Bitch. This look gets a toot. Toot. I give Davina de Campo a toot. Ladies and gentlemen, next we bring to the stage the Vivian. Um, well, it's pretty. Somehow I find it refreshing because I think for finale looks, I think a lot of people tend to go way, 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 way over the top and there's something that's very like, kind of like blush and Simple bashful. And pretty. And she's like, this is it. Yeah, I'm wearing right here. shades of beige. I, yeah. And beige. Yeah, and I am not, uh, I'm not trying to like put on the crazy clown suit because bitch, it's the bitch is right here. Yeah. And it doesn't need all the kakarakao. Meow, meow, meow. Well, what I love is like the Valley of the Dolls hair. Uh -huh. I love that big pineapple type of style where it comes back and it's like hair. But then the, the makeup, beautiful. The hair, beautiful. The dress to me, I wish in this middle part, there was, I don't know, maybe. A belt, a bow. A big, yeah, a something brooch. there that made it go, oh, look, I'm breaking this up. Mm -hmm. But overall, it's a beautiful, simple silhouette. Mm -hmm. She's kind of like Glenda the Good Witch, but very like streamlined. Mm. Streamlined. Two. Two. Channel alert! Streamlined. 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 Lines of stream. I need to cast an app to pump. That's it. It's streamlined. <laughs> That's the attitude. That's the thing. <laughs> Our top two of the week is Cheryl, Cheryl Hole. The Cheryl. sister to Sissy Hole. Cheryl. Cheryl Hole. Cheryl Hole. Hole of Cheryl. Hole on the hole. Hole is my Cheryl. Share my hole. Share my hole. <laughs> hole. 
And congratulations one more time to the Vivian. The Vivian is the winner, and she is the new queen of England. And if you are in the UK on January 18th and 19th, make sure you go to RuPaul's Drag Con UK and meet the queens of the first season of RuPaul's Drag Race. UK. Cheerio. We'd like to bid you all farewell and thank you so much for joining us this entire season of Toot and Boot and Fashion yeah. Photo Review on the yes. UK. In all honesty, thank you so much for joining us this entire uh, season of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. And Congratulations. such devoted fans to not only Fashion Photo Review, but RuPaul's Drag Race. Keep watching, there's so much more to come because RuPaul has taken over the universe! Universe, 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 universe!